stay up all day long, maybe you found that they, the size is never right. Or if you don't like wearing tights, which a lot of people don't, then these are a fantastic alternative. They've got a really strong grip at the top with a triple band of silicone, and they're perfect for if you want them to stay up all day long without slipping. But it's all very well me telling you how well these stockings stay up while I'm sitting here talking to a camera. So I decided to set the Love Honey team, Sally, Jess and Tilly, a challenge. Could they wear their Kixies all day throughout the Love Honey offices without them slipping down? Well, let's have a look at the results. wearing your kicksies for a while now so what, how have they held up what do you think about how they've stayed I'm really impressed actually I think from the minute I put mine on I was really happy with firstly how comfortable they were and they didn't immediately try and just spring back down my legs and walking bending you know doing all stuff so far they've stayed perfectly in place I don't know about you guys yeah I thought that um this was just a design detail at the top but it's actually four silicone strips that go around your legs so it really keeps it really securely in place mm, yeah and um, I really struggle with stockings, actually, because I've got quite long legs. Um, so normally they say they should come to mid-thigh and normally they're about down here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they stayed up really well and didn't fall down at all. OK, so you really like the way they stayed up, but which sizes did you all go for and what height are you? Because that's quite important with the Kixies getting the sizing right. Mm -hmm. So which did you all go for? I went for a size B mm -hmm. um, because I'm normally about a size 12, um, but I'm six foot two, so I'm a giant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, and they stayed up and they're brilliant. Yeah. Um, I went for size A, so I'm just under 5'5", five five, mm -hmm. um, and I would normally probably wear a size 10 to 12, but I carry most of my weights on my thighs. Um, so I initially thought I'd need a size B, but I was really happy to say that actually size A came up high enough for me, it was really comfortable, didn't feel too tight, so, yeah, spot on. Like Sally, I went for a size B. Um, I'm 5'10", and about a size 10, and I found that was just perfect for me. It, like, just sat, like just where my thighs ended so if I was wearing like a knee length skirt you wouldn't be able to see anything. Excellent and how have they been comfort wise? Have you been hot? Have they been itchy like some tights can be? How have you found them over the course of the time you've been wearing them? I've actually been really impressed because I think sometimes when you get particularly hold ups they'll have just two really thick bands of silicone which actually get a bit clammy and hot and before you know it, I'm either itchy or I'm just uncomfortable and to be honest well we all said earlier we kind of forgot we were wearing them didn't we mm. just sat at our desks and just getting on with bits and pieces which is really nice and I think I actually forgot about them more than I would a pair of tights which start sagging and things mm -hmm. so yeah it kind of solved a lot of problems that I have with hosiery in general. 
So do you think you'd recommend them to anyone who's looking for hold-ups that stay up all day? Definitely, yeah. Definitely. I think they're great and they're light enough for summer. They look really good on and there's um, loads of different styles to choose from, which yeah. is fantastic as well. Definitely. I think it's a really good investment, um, especially if you're, if you're somebody who doesn't get on with tights, but you do want to cover your legs, you know, maybe for, I don't know, a wedding or a special event and you don't want to be fiddling and faffing all day with your underwear. Mm. So far, I, yeah, I would, I would definitely buy them for myself, so I certainly recommend, recommend them to somebody else.